Hey guys, I'm Andrew from MCAT Self Prep, and in this video, I'm going to show you a short snippet from my live car strategy session. You know, over the years, I've helped a lot of students with cars, and I've noticed that other companies tend to teach so many strategies that students get overwhelmed trying to use all of them while approaching their cars passages. And what I've found is that when you can have a single approach to cars and develop consistency from there, you're gonna be much more successful than trying to implement 20 different strategies at once when you're approaching these cars passages. So in my live car strategy session, my goal is to help you understand the one thing that's gonna help you get better at cars if you implement it consistently over time. I'm really confident that you're gonna get a lot out of this strategy session. If you enjoy the snippet that you see here today, go ahead and head over to mcatselfprep.com to watch the full 60 minute strategy session. And if you have any questions, be sure to reach out. I'm here to help. During today's session, I can't dive into all 10 of the comprehension strategies that are contained in my Ultimate Car Strategy course, but we will touch on three of them briefly. Type excited into the chat if you are ready to dive into these strategies. All right, I'm seeing a lot of excited's, so let's jump in. Okay, the first, and in my opinion, one of the most important strategies we will discuss is called linking. Linking is summarized by this quote. Good readers connect the meaning of one sentence to the meaning of another. Linking basically entails connecting one part of the passage to another. Now, the comprehension strategy of linking is beneficial for three main reasons. First of all, linking makes the new information more understandable. You've likely heard the phrase, context is everything. I thought this meme was a perfect example of the importance of context. A baby's laughter is one of the most beautiful sounds you will ever hear, unless it's 3 a.m. and you're home alone and you don't have a baby, <laughs> right? Context is everything. And the idea that context is everything is especially true on cars. Without the context of the previous information that you understood, the new information may not make sense. A sentence in isolation is useless. It needs to be understood in relation to the previously developed ideas. To introduce another reason why linking is such an effective comprehension strategy, I want to give you a little quiz. I am going to show you a list and give you 10 seconds to memorize it. Ready, set, go. And time's up. All right. Let's see if any of you can list all nine items on this list. Go ahead and try to type all nine into the chat. All right, some of you got one out of nine. <laughs> all right, looks like some of you got a lot of them. That's awesome, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, we got some good attempts here, but no one seems to have done it. Now, the easiest way to do this would be to look at the items and mentally sort them into categories like this. Doesn't this make the list much easier to memorize? This process of remembering things in groups like this is known as chunking, which you will learn more about as you study the behavioral science content for the MCAT. When you link the meaning of one sentence to another while reading a car's passage, you are mentally chunking different parts of the passage into categories, which allows you to better remember what you are reading. Many students who struggle with cars have a hard time remembering what they read, and linking is certainly a cure. Making passage information easier to remember is the second major benefit of linking. Okay, how many of you remember doing connect the dots as a kid? Well, although it may not be quite as much fun, reading a car's passage is a lot like playing connect the dots. You have to link the various ideas together until you notice a theme. That theme is the main idea. And this is the final benefit of linking that I want to mention, that it helps you find the main idea. Now, because finding the main idea is such a crucial part of reading a car's passage, I teach a four-step process to finding the main idea of any car's passage in my Ultimate Car Strategy course. Linking is one key part of that four-step process. Before we move on to comprehension strategy number two, let's review the three key benefits of linking. First, it makes what you read more understandable. Second, it makes what you read more memorable. And third, it helps you find the main idea. 
This is a very powerful comprehension strategy, which is why I wanted to share it with you first today. The next car strategy that I want to introduce today is using background knowledge. Now, I know what you are thinking. Andrew, I thought we were only supposed to use information contained in the passage to answer Carr's questions. How many of you have heard this before? Type yes into the chat if you have heard that you should never use outside information to answer Carr's questions. All right, sounds like, seems like a lot of you have heard this, and I completely agree. You should not use outside information to answer Carr's questions, but you should definitely use your background information to your advantage while reading a car's passage. Why? Because research shows this is what good readers are doing while they read. Cognitive scientists found that good readers constantly connect their background knowledge to the new knowledge they encounter in a text. I'll show you the power of this strategy when we dive into today's example passage. The last strategy I want to touch on today is the strategy of visualization. Just like the first two strategies and all the other strategies I teach in my course, this strategy is proven and fully backed up by research. Some research suggests that readers who visualize as they read are better able to recall what they read than those who do not visualize. How many of you would consider yourselves visual as opposed to auditory learners? Type visual into the chat if this describes you. Yeah, it looks like a lot of you are visual learners, and this is the case for a lot of people. And not only is there a Chinese proverb on this, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, but there is also loads of research that supports visualizing as a superior form of learning and remembering. As you can see, these comprehension strategies are not just something I thought up. These are proven techniques that good readers use. Research is the backbone for every strategy I've taught you so far and everything I will teach you in my Ultimate Car Strategy course. Now, just because I've told you about these strategies does not mean that you now know how to use them. Remember, these are not cheap tricks. They are comprehension strategies that need to be learned deeply to the point that they become second nature. They need to sink into the very fibers of your mind and heart. So how does that happen? Well, there is a large body of research concerning the best way to learn these comprehension strategies, and research shows that explicit teaching techniques are particularly effective for comprehension strategy instruction. In explicit instruction, teachers tell readers why and when they should use strategies, what strategies to use, and how to apply them. The steps of explicit instruction typically include direct explanation, teacher modeling, guided practice, and application. So. The four research-backed steps to learning comprehension strategies are direct explanation, teacher modeling, guided practice, and application. These four proven steps form the backbone of my Ultimate Car Strategy course. So far during today's session, we've gone through step one, direct explanation. So now it is time for teacher modeling. I see this step as the most important, as it allows you to see when and how to apply the strategies. Remember. Comprehension strategies are applied when the context of what you are reading calls for them. You need to see firsthand when it is the proper time to apply these strategies. You need to see inside the mind of a good reader. To illustrate these strategies, let's dive into an actual AMC CARS passage together. As always, my goal is to show you how to succeed on the actual MCAT, which was written by the AAMC. For this reason, I highly, highly recommend purchasing the complete AAMC practice bundle from the AAMC. Now, we won't be able to go through the entire passage or all of its questions during today's session, but in my Ultimate Car Strategy course, I will carefully illustrate each of the 10 strategies one at a time while walking you through the entire passage and question set for each strategy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to head over to MCATSelfPrep.com to watch the full 60 minute strategy session. At the end of that session, you'll get the links to 100 plus cars passages and a special coupon towards my Ultimate Car Strategy course. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for some more MCAT study tips 
And as always, feel free to comment below and me or one of my tutors will get back to you soon. We're here to help. See you next time, guys.